National Treasury released draft taxation amendments recently to bring into place the two-part retirement system that has been endorsed by the Finance Minister earlier this year. We first saw the initial paper issued around this system in December 2021, and we've now seen the latest updates of these regulations being released. The two-part system has effectively been introduced to deal with an old age challenge in the retirement landscape that is the lack of preservation. Secondly, it is also allowing members to have some access in times of financial distress. As a reminder of what the two-part system is, basically your contributions going towards retirement savings will be split into one-third of the contributions going into a savings pot and the remaining two-thirds going into a retirement pot. You will be able to access your money from your savings pot once a year, subject to a minimum of 2,000 Rand. This is the emergency funding that has been introduced to allow members some access during times of financial distress, such as with what we saw during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. The savings pot is going to be included in your annual tax amount. So in other words, you will pay the marginal tax for this amount that you access going forward. Then when you reach retirement age, your entire retirement pot will be available to buy an annuity that is to provide you with an income during your retirement. Should there be money available in your savings pot, you can access this as a cash lump sum and it will fall under the regime of the retirement lump sum tax tables. People will get their first 500,000 tax free as per the retirement lump sum tax tables available. Now often people do need cash at retirement so it is advisable that some money be kept in the savings pot because the money going into the retirement pot will go straight to purchasing an annuity. The draft regulations now say that this can be effective from the 1st of March 2023. That means that new contributions towards retirement funding will be split as discussed above. The changes will not apply to existing savings as at the date and there will be no seeding of the savings pot with any monies saved prior to the legislation coming into effect. You will be able to access your previous retirement savings as per the old rules that are currently applicable. In other words, should you resign, you can access all your savings prior to the 1st of March 2023 or whichever date the legislation is passed. It is important to note that we have only seen a draft income tax act and an explanatory note. We will need significantly more detail released before we can see how the full system will work as it will require some changes to the Pension Funds Act as well. The effective date of 1 March 2023 does not seem practical as the administrators will require up to 18 months from the finalization of the new proposals to the date in which the system is implemented. Fund trustees will need to apply their minds to the specifics of their own fund in dealing with the two-pot system. Elements of the draft suggest that funds will have some level of discretion in how the two-pot system will be structured at a fund level. Some aspects for consideration will therefore include the ability of the administrators to manage the changes effectively and whether there will be implications on the administration fee structures. Now we all know that from the current wording, the draft regulations do introduce some level of complexity, which could potentially mean that there's more choices and more options for members. In addition to the increased complexity, funds will also need to apply their minds to the appropriateness of their investment strategies for the retirement savings, including the new accessible savings pot. It is envisaged that the two-pot system will result in improved retirement outcomes because members will be preserving all their assets that flow into the retirement pot. It is for this reason that these changes are welcome. We look forward to seeing more detail in the next update after the comments received from various stakeholders.